Hey y'all, it's Natalie and welcome to the December YouTube uh, design team hop but for a cherry on top. Today I'm creating a Christmas page. Our theme this month is just winter or Christmas and I feel like this page is a really great um, like back to basics scrapbook page. I'm using new stuff. I'm using stash stuff. I am telling a story. I'm using multiple photos on the page. I'm super excited to bring this to you. It's a lot, but so am I. So <laughs> I am showing you over there the colors I'm kind of going for. Um, the pictures are of my little guy Lachlan um, visiting with Santa last year. And the backdrop was super cute. There was like these wood grain farm doors and like there was lots of pink, like the rug was pink. And so we're going with that stuff. So I got that wood grain paper. It's, it's by Simple Stories. And um, I'm gonna put this bright red cardstock on this little background that is like different colored dots. I think that's from the Mary Wishmas collection by um, Fancy Pants last year. I have backed my photos with some pink cardstock. And now I have that, and that is from Wishmas for sure. And I'm gonna use my all time favorite border punch. This is everybody's favorite border punch. I'll link down below. Um, because everyone always asks. It's by EK Success, large dotted scallop, I think is what it's called. Um, and I'm gonna cut that striped paper out uh, or punch that out for a scallop down the side. And then these are the new bits. These are from the six by eight paper pad from Simple Stories called Mix and a Mingle. And they have uh, all the same colors as last year's Wishmas collection and the um, Christmas collection by Pink Fresh Studio from last year as well. Um, so that's why I'm kind of combining my stash with all of the new stuff that I got from Simple Stories this year. And I just love that, it's super fun. And so I'm gonna do two strips of paper down the side um, over here. And those are both from that mix and a mingle and one is like pink with red candy canes and one just has all different color um ornaments and i keep like putting the photos back on there how i want to uh arrange them but that's what we're going with and then the title is going to be dear santa i was framed <laughs> which perfectly describes the story that i have to go with it um, I'll just read it to you real quick. I go type up the journaling on my um, typewriter here in a minute, but it says Christmas 2021 Lachlan was still learning to read and Heath told him the wrong word on his letter to Santa. So Locke marked naughty and had some explaining to do. He was framed. Um, they had just like a pre filled out Christmas list at this event we went to and um, Heath got him to mark that he was naughty. <laughs> Such a big brother move, right? This paper is from Pink Fresh Studio. I'm gonna cut out that little pink um, ticket type thing and that's gonna be, kind of be the anchor for my title. And you're gonna see me play around with the title and the journaling a lot because I feel like there are quite a few options of how to arrange it. Um, and nothing was right and nothing was wrong, but um, I picked the way I did so I could fit more uh, ephemera and die cuts around the photos basically is the reason. <laughs> So now we're ready to commit and start sticking things down. I will take this chance to let you know that this is a YouTube hop. So if you hop along to all of the videos listed below in the description, there's just a few of us on the design team and you comment, you'll be entered to win a chance, uh, a chance to win $15 at the cherry on top store. So that's a lovely little prize. And there are so many good things in there. Um, you definitely would have a good chance of winning. So comment and uh, like everybody's videos and hopefully you'll win, good luck. So I felt like the main photo of him with Santa needed a little something. So I pulled out that white doily um, and I'm gonna work on the title, but then I'm like, no, it still needs something else. So I'm still messing with the doilies over here. What I end up doing is I grab that um, red and white stripe paper and I go cut out a smaller circle that has a scallop that mimics the doily and so those two things are going to anchor the main photo and i am going to pop it up on some foam tape i also use that lumberjack plaid uh the new distress oxide color and i'm going to use that to kind of like out uh outline is that the right word? i'm going to rub it along the edges of all of the papers and um i'm also going to use it to stamp my own ephemera I'm going to ink up that doily there. This has got a lot going on, but also like the scene with Santa had a lot going on and, and like Christmas just has a lot going on. And so I felt like it's appropriate. 
I really do just kind of go all out on my Christmas pages. There's just no rules. <laughs> I mean, there's no rules in scrapbooking whatsoever, but specifically with Christmas. But I will say that at the end of this, it was a lot going on and I was like, don't add any sequins. And I really wanted to add sequins or, or some gems or something. And I refrained because I had nothing else sparkly on the page. And I was like, you know what? It's, it's good. It's a lot going on. Like we're going to leave it. And it, I, it was some self-restraint that I had to show there because I do love me some sparkle, especially on a Christmas page, <laughs> but that's okay. They don't all have to sparkle. So I'm just kind of layering up those little ships of paper and sticking those down so I can go ahead and um, commit to where my, um, photos are gonna belong and then obviously those were six by eight pieces so they didn't go the length of the 12 by 12 and so I just placed the seam where I knew that it would be hidden by the main photo with the doily and everything so I think here is where I start kind of playing around with where the title will be and where the um, strips of journaling will be I have that we are memory keepers um, type cast typewriter and so I use that to type up that journaling on some white cardstock and then just cut it into little strips um what are we doing here I liked that that little pink card said Santa's workshop it's, it's pictures with Santa right so I'm really playing around with it like where is it gonna go um, and I just kind of end up deciding that the journaling should go on the cardstock so it doesn't overlap any of the pattern paper and it, it you know, it doesn't make it more difficult. It doesn't make it difficult to read. So that's another reason that I decided to place it on the red cardstock rather than overlapping any of the other elements on the page. So you can see I popped up that photo. Um, just so it kind of shows us the main photo. And actually the little square photo is also popped up. And then the other two are adhered directly to the page. So I'm kind of like building my title. I work from the middle out. So I make sure that I have, it's kind of centered. That's my way of having it centered. I'm not really one for measuring. So that's as close as I get to measuring and being precise on a layout. Um, those are just some white puffy alphas from my stash as well as the red ones too. Those are from my stash. Those are actually like really old thickers. So again, another fun thing with scrapbooking, like we buy all the supplies, which is a totally separate hobby from using the supplies and we need to use them. Like, you know, so I love when collections like the mix and a mingle from this year can combine to go with other collections that I already had pieces from. Now I'm going through the ephemera for Mix and Amigo, and I'm pulling out some pieces that I would like to use on this page, but I'm also going to use that Nostalgic Season stamp that you see over there to the right with the matching die by Katherine Pooler. I'm gonna use the same colors that we already have going on to create additional bits of ephemera. I really love the deer. I probably, that's the entire reason that I bought the stamp set because the deer is so cute. Um, but the tree is super cute. So I'm going to make a few trees because there was a tree sitting next to them in the photo. And I just kind of like use, uh, let's see, I use, um, spun sugar for the pink, the lumberjack plaid for the red. I use, uh, rustic wilderness and mowed lawn, um, for the greens. And, um, the reason that I'm using a stamping platform here especially is because they are layered stamps so that little deer had an outline and so it's much easier to line up the stamps with the outline when you're using a stamping platform. So, and we definitely have some of those in the stores. I think, I think, uh, Sizzix just came out with a new one that looks pretty fabulous. So, um, I, I ran all my stamps you can see right there on the right that I ran them through my Sizzix Big Shot with those matching dies and like the little um stars were separately stamped and they like go on top of the trees they're super cute and the trees have little stumps so the trees can be a standalone or they have little stumps and they have little like baskets that you can put them in it was so fun to like play with those it's almost like um paper dolls or something like putting them together in different ways it would also be really fun to do heat embossing with the like outline stamps of all these items so um i'm sticking down the stamped items first i'm not sticking them down but i'm kind of placing them and then i'm going to go back through with the pre-printed die cuts that are from the mix and mingle collection by simple stories 
I really like the idea of using those two pieces to kind of frame the journaling. Um, so it's not just floating out there kind of on its own. So um, I loved that chair. Um, I didn't really think that there would ever be another time that I would want to use that chair. So it was perfect for him sitting with Santa because Santa was sitting in a chair. And this is like a really nostalgic collection. Um, it's very vintage feel. Like that chair is like a nice leather chair. And like there's... Um, what things feel vintage? I don't know. I can't think of any examples right now. Like there's like some furniture and it looks vintage and like it has like a record player on it and stuff. Those two circle die cuts that you see around the trees are from last year's Pink Fresh Studio uh, winter collection. So they all just match so well and I love it so much. So I'm going to stick down that little like pinwheel bit and then I'm going to layer a sticker on the top and that'll be like a little subtitle and it says the most wonderful time of the year. Um, and I think we're headed towards the end because look at it. It's so full of stuff. <laughs> what more could I possibly add? Sequins. I could have added sequins, but I didn't. I refrained. I had self-control. <laughs> Don't come at me if I do a flip through later on in the month and you see sequins on the page. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. So make sure to check out uh, everybody's videos down below. I will link down below with my affiliate link to a cherry on top if you would like to buy this adorable mix and mingle collection or the nostalgic season stamp by Catherine Pooler. There's all, um, you probably should update your distress oxides collection with a new lumberjack plaid. Um, if you don't know what to buy, just ask me. I can enable you. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I'd love it if you'd like and subscribe. Bye y'all. Thank you.